So hey guys, this is Lindsay with Mama Schmooze Reviews. I was getting ready for my homeschool day tomorrow and I just figured I'd do a little casual how I get my homeschool day ready um, the night before. I usually plan a week ahead. This week is a little more casual. We're learning about colors. My son's two and a half and my daughter's four, so she knows all of her colors, but we're learning about like blending and all that stuff and then just trying to teach my son his colors and just having a lot of fun. Um, the books that we are reading right now, I have in this little, um, I don't know if you want to call it a morning basket, but this is just a basket I got at Marshall's the other day that I put on top of my homeschool cabinet because it really works out for me because I just put the books that we're reading after breakfast. So this is the Brown Bear, Brown Bear What Do You See? So this is a good color book. These are all books that I've already had. Our devotional, I mean, our Bible that we read and um, my colors in Spanish. This is a great book to learn colors in Spanish. And then A Color of His Own. We've been reading this one. It's really, really great. And then I have just a book for my son with um, his first words, but then there's like a bunch of, a back page of all colors. And we're reading a little bit on Martin Luther King every couple days or so. And these are like the top picks of the ones that I like that I've been reading to her. And these are the crafts. We haven't done any yet. Um, this is about Harriet Tubman. And these are all extras for her Explore the Code. We She uses them all the time. She's in love with it, so we're going through the books really fast. And this is the book that I've been having my son do with us when he wants to get involved. He loves coloring, so this is a good um, coloring book to go with the theme that we have going on this week. And this is one of the reads that I've been reading um, for the past few days with my kids, favorite tales of Beatrice Potter's Beatrix Potter, and um, they love the tale of Peter Rabbit, so we've been reading that one. Anyways, it didn't go along with our theme, but they like that book. And then this is something that I just hauled not too long ago in my um, kids' haul. It's a really cute little um, school atlas, and I like it because it's so small. And I keep it in our little basket just in case I have to reference to something that we're talking about, I could just grab it. And um, this, like I said, this is what was in my homeschool tour, and I never showed you guys what was inside. But I will share with you what I do really quickly. So hopefully this will help somebody out that lives like in a smaller space like I do, and I just rotate things out. So I wanted to share with you guys, like I said, very casually and very quickly, um, I have our Spanish, these are great by the way, they're Spanish flashcards, and we've been using these since she's been two, and they really do work. Um, so I always have that in there. Um, these are for counting, or I'll do logic, um, matching with these, and then I have this in here just in case we need to use it. And then I file all my flashcards in this. And I have a video on it, and I have two of these, and it's super simple. So if you do go to the Dollar Tree, um, I put all of our flashcards in it. And the one that I had in my video, I actually labeled. So you can organize them to your heart's desire. So yeah, I have a my first counting book. What I do is I switch out our math. For instance, this is the pile here of math and games that I took from my rotation box upstairs and I'm bringing them down to freshen up what we do because I don't want to be doing the same thing over and over. This is a math book counting book. This is a file game that we made. And then what I do is I just tape all of the things on the Ziploc bag and I put it in this folder. So this was something that we did for the 4th of July. But we haven't done it in a while, so I figured I'd pull it out. But um, this is just something that she plays with. Let's say if I'm reading or she just wants to have fun, I leave it in here. I tend to keep this math for all seasons in here. Um, it's a poem book with math. The alligator I was going to do with my son eventually, just keep in here. Our portfolio of stuff that we've done that I don't want to throw away yet. And a bunch of like construction paper. And then I have my science notebook and my interactive math notebook. I keep my science and my math notebook in here all the time. This is my daughter's notebook that she does once in a while. And um, they're all laminated 
or they're all in a protective sleeve so she could work on stuff. Now this book, this she's really into some weeks and then some weeks she's into something else. So then this is my son's toddler book that he has. And I'll show it to you in a more in-depth, I guess, video. And so this is what I did, you guys. This is the little rotation box that I have. And I took out this, because this is what we did with our caterpillar thing. And I took out the alphabet tracing here and the rhyming puzzle and a dice. And then we've been working on some words. I'm taking that out and this I need to file away. And then I'm bringing this to the box, our snap numbers. I want her to work on different tracing because she gets kind of frustrated with tracing the same thing, so I like to change it out for her number practice. And then my son hasn't played with this game in a while. It's like the erasers and I photocopied it and then he just matches them up. And then since we're learning about colors this week, I was gonna have my daughter just trace these words to get familiar with tracing it. And then she needs to be practicing her letters. So I just took a whole entire Dollar Tree princess themed and Disney themed alphabet book and I laminated, I mean, not laminated, I just kept the cover just to make it pretty. And it's the whole entire alphabet to trace. So she likes to do different things. We have tons of things to trace. So I like to just give her a variety, so I switch it out all the time. So these are the things that we um, are putting into this box. And then these are the things that I'm putting back upstairs. So like I said, you guys, I like switch things out a lot and it really tends to help um, make their interest in school a little bit better because things are changing on a weekly basis. I try to change it out. So yeah, that's it. And she's really liking, like I said lately, explore the code. So I put three sheets on here on the clipboard and I leave it out in the morning. And whenever she feels like doing her little school, she does it. And then I always leave out a laminated sleeve with something for her to be doing. And she can use her little markers. So that tends to work out. And then since they're learning colors this week, we have these little water blocks that I showed in my favorites video. And the really cool thing about these, you guys, um, the kids look through them and put them in the sunlight and then they can mix like yellow and green. Or not yellow and green, sorry, wrong one. They can mix like a blue and a yellow and make green. So this is an easy way to learn the colors and teach them what primary colors and how they mix and what colors they turn into. So it's good for my four-year-old. So yeah, you guys, that's basically how I do it. Um, if you want to see down here, I have like a bigger atlas. So if we want to look about look at anything else, we have that to reference. And then in the school little um, thing, I'll show you what I have. It's called the World God Made. Then my favorite science um, workbook by Evan Moore, Animals, and. I just have like extra construction paper in here. This was a book from when I we did Madeline. And I just have a bunch of like learn shapes from my son. Um, these great, great um, paint, and, paint with water books. So when they want to paint, that's a good one to do. Hidden pictures. This one's a really good one. Explore hidden treasures in God's word. And then just some coloring stuff, construction paper. I keep, oh, this is math. I need to bring this back upstairs. And just some coloring books and some sticker books. So that's what I do. I just keep the, all of the fun little activities, things that they don't need me for. So I'll just add all of the things that I want to work on. And I'll put that out for her. Probably put this out for my son. So I try to like set up the whole table. So in the morning, it's kind of like Christmas, they come down and they have all of their stuff ready for them. The numbers will work on later. And then her alphabet book. I don't like to put too much out and overwhelm her. You guys, I keep this stuff out for her in the morning. I have that for my son. And they could come and sit while I'm making breakfast. And these are the things that I'm taking upstairs to put back into our rotation 
rotation bin. So if you're wondering how I do my rotation, that's how I do it. So that's it, you guys. This is how I set up what we're starting for the morning. And then this is the stuff that I'm taking upstairs. And that's basically it. And then I just put back everything in here. And I really like it because it's very organized. And let me bring this out. I always bring this. Probably be reading the Bible tomorrow. And then I want to read. We just read Brown Bear. So I'm going to probably read this after Full of His Own again. And then this cute little Spanish book to teach you the colors. If you guys don't have it, it's a really good book. I'll just share with you guys what it looks like. But this is a good way to learn their colors. By Rebecca Emberley. So yeah, that's what I usually do is I just have our Bible and our books that we want to read and then a few activities for them to do in the morning time while I'm making their breakfast. So I hope you guys like this. Sorry I'm so quiet, the kids are sleeping. But I wanted to share with you guys my rotation system and how I kind of set up for the night before. And like I said, this week's very casual, so I don't have a huge theme going on, but I've been doing printables and there's so many things to do with colors. So we're having a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Mama Schmoes Reviews.